Hey, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and I'm in the process of doing a kitting up of something that about 50% of the drills have got static. Now I've, um, this is for a short link canvas and it's exactly, the, it's come from the same factory in China as um, the other short link. So they're both the same and I was expecting this static. I've been trying to work out how to deal with it. So if you actually look, um, you can see how it's static, not oil. And it just, they end up coating the inside of the bag and jumping towards anything, sorry for the crackling, and jumping at anything that possibly can. So, what I'm going to do, actually here we go, let's see if we can focus on it. The back, the, you can actually see it where, the place, where it actually coats. So all the drills are on the bottom, but there's a good coating attached to the plastic. So that's where you intend to tell that there's static. I put these in the freezer. A um, couple of hours I've been in the freezer. So the static's pretty bad. Um... I've just got there we go. So now what I've done is put a little piece of dry sheet in my container. But what I will do, what I have done is I've got a big tray and a dryer sheet that I've actually cut. I've put that in the dryer sheet. Put the dryer sheet in the tray. Hang on. What I do is a quick little wipe like that, tip it, and no static. And it's not sticking to me. It's not sticking to like plastic. And what's the difference? Well, hang on. I'll, I'll do more. I'll do the next one. I'll just put that in there. I will do the same colour. <laughs> I'll actually cut this right open now so we can see it properly. This colour without the cloth is just harder to deal with. So that's, there's your static. It's just sticking it. It's not oil. It is totally and solely static. And I'd find if I'm touching these, see these are now sticking to me very easily. I think the first time I dealt with really staticky drills, I had them bouncing everywhere. Where if you do it this way, you'll find that your drills will go straight onto the um, dryer sheet. They won't bounce, and it just it's taking the static out of them. With the static, normally if I'm doing a big, big load of colour, that static it'll be bouncing everywhere. And I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing now if I've just had one that I've dropped. If this, if I still had the static on these, this would be, they'd be flinging everywhere. So um, yeah, I'm going to go back to kitting up these drills into you know, into the. I finished kitting up this kit, um, but this is just my quick win. For drills with static. Um, when you've got something that so many bags that you have, so many of the so many of the colours that you have had static, um, it's it's nice to have a a fix, a, re, a resolution, or an idea on how to resolve the issue. Okay, so I will. Um, Continue on with um, don't go do my other kidding up, and um, I hope you like this. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Please subscribe, hit the bell um, if you want to be notified of anything else that I upload. And please go through and have a look. This I've got a lot of tips and tricks within my videos because I normally just discover it and then just proceed on. Um, 
but there's some I've actually specifically stopped to show this because um, you get a lot of people asking how to do this stamp. So thanks for watching and I will catch you later. Bye.